the Stalag was the perfect place to start the tour for the crow's flight because that was the, the, the place the escape began and it was incredibly informative, very well presented, atmospheric, uh, it, it made you feel uh, what happened uh, and gave some uh, empathy towards the plight of the escapees and the, the Slovenian, Slovenian people also. And that was a good start because then we took the train to Osborne, right? And then again with the first no, like, we climb into the forest we get a with so, so we can cool. identify ourselves with the uh, escapees who are aided by the partisan who then led unknowingly into the forest and uh, in a sense gave up their fate into the hands of the partisans who, uh, who supported them. So not knowing what was uh, what was ahead. So uh, again we, we feel what was uh, going on. We know they have to go into like the thick forest, into the hills that are hidden and not, uh, not exposed. Uh, so we very much enjoy and we feel part of what, what happened. So it's what it met our expectation and beyond. They tried to make as much noise as possible because it was really not a lot of them. Yes. And they were like, journalists just said, wow, this is something. And just run away. And then it was like three parties. Yes. And then they rescued. The party! Oh! Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, you're the guard. You're the prisoner. No, no, no. Run! Go, 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 go! He has to ditch bricks two hours and 15 minutes. But we don't go to the top, of course, they are not right. tourists. They just try to go as quick yeah, as possible yeah, yeah, yeah. to the property. And afternoon? In the afternoon, because uh, I think we, we walked eight or nine uh, kilometers that day. Again, with uh, uh, some varied uh, landscape and with some views that opened up towards the valleys as well too, and also some uh, some mist, uh, some mist coming down, and we saw some beautiful orchards. Some friendly uh, villagers as well too, who uh, kindly offered and shared their stops uh, with us. <laughs> Simon can have mine. And finally, we, you know, we reached the place of the blacksmith uh, for like an early dinner that turned into a complete feast or banquet. You know, we had some uh, appetizers with uh, dips and bread, and then uh, from a like a, a hot pot, we had this uh, uh, and then for, uh, grilled food with uh, pork, chicken, vegetables. We were totally entertained, and uh, the, the service was wonderful. So, uh, of course, we, again, it uh, made us feel like. Homemade situation, homemade food, homemade community. So we, we loved it very much. Super. Oh, it's a good look on you, Simon. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to go hiking and be armless. Has anybody got a... Well, what, what, what are you feeling for the uh, second day? 
the second day. Yes. I thought the second day was a wonderful day. Uh, it was tough, the toughest day, and I'm told the toughest of all the days. It was tough because we had to walk in the end over 22 kilometres, and we went to an altitude of uh, 1,547 metres, um, and we, we actually did about 1,100 metres in the first 10 kilometres walking through forest tracks. So it was tough, um, but we did it. It was a great sense of achievement um, at the end. The other thing that was nice is that every time we passed an isolated farmhouse, the I occupants insisted on giving us schnapps. <laughs> so that homemade schnapps was lovely, kept us going, um, made us all happy. <laughs> yeah, the partisans would have appreciated this, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Machine gun. You have control over the whole. I'm sure we're going to see a lot of great scenery. Yeah, no, I'm sure we will. No, no, he's had a poor thing. Hello, he's got to knock it up there. No, 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 no. It's impossible. Magnesium tablets. I, yeah, this is a oh my God. cheese Guys, and, uh, oh, bread. Cream cheesecake we had the other day. And the lake. Mm. Very nice. Mm. Excellent. Dobro. Dobro, eh? Mm. Huh? Mm. Bob, it's very good. Dobro. It's a lot of Dobro. It's going to be on YouTube, mm. man. Mm. And Dobro with a whole lump of. <laughs> Imagine one. It would. And. Unfortunately, the weather wasn't as kind as it could have been. It was uh, cold and a little bit of rain and misty, so we didn't get all of the views we wanted to get, although we we're getting it today. Um, but it wasn't unpleasant. It was a new experience, even though it was raining here and there. It was still fascinating and interesting, and to see how the rivulets and uh, good water, huh? Mountain streams, we drank from mountain streams, beautiful clear water, right. and um, just seeing how the forest works. That it is like a rainforest, and moss everywhere, and mushrooms, uh, uh, gobia. I had learnt the gobia, the gobia, Slovenian word for um, mushrooms, good mushrooms, and dobra gobia. Bravo. Uh, we had, to, we had a good guide, Herman, who could tell us what was poisonous or not, but we ended up not eating any anyway. Jezerski vrh! Look! Jezerski vrh! Bravo! Bravo! Rybniška. From that stalag, there were thousands of them died, and then they wanted to throw them Let's go to Kopach. Here we go. We saw some wonderful sights relating to the closed flight. We saw a house where uh, the prisoners were, were hidden. Um, we started um, the day at the railway yard where they escaped. Um, and we even visited a very new museum in Maribor uh, that contained all the stuff we needed to know about about the crow's fly. Just a wonderful day all up.
Yesterday was a very interesting day for many reasons. The, the first two days was a bit wet and a bit long, 24 kilometres and a lot of sore feet, but we had a good sleep and the feet get better overnight. The powers of healing of human beings is amazing, which you need here because it's pretty hard going. Not as hard as the partisans and the prisoners are pretty hard going for people like us. But we woke up yesterday and the sun was out. It was a beautiful sunny day and there was mountains everywhere and it was wonderful and we had to make our way to the ambush house. And so we walked the mountains and the sun came out and it was absolutely beautiful. The scenery is incredible. These are the nets, it's mine, so huh? yeah, you have to yeah, be yeah. careful. You know, when, <laughs> I, when I was young, I used to collect these dry ones to sell them for fertilizer. And in one big bag, and I could sell them from. Last, last, last resort. Yeah, you know, especially in a family law with In the stride, you get your boots sorted out. This nice? It's nice. Very nice. Couldn't be better. Guys, home country. Dormant. But of course we don't know which which route we're gonna take for something like this. Yeah mate, I'm happy for Sam. I'll take the low road and I'll be in Scotland before you. <laughs> it's wrong. We'll never meet again on the bunny bunny banks of Loch Lomond. Shoot, I go, I love to sing, an upsack on my back. Bowdery, 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 a knapsack on my back. But a cut. I'm glad I dropped that two kilograms of turd before. This would have been harder up here. <laughs> right. Now this is a steep pitch. It of a cool bar tree. And he sang and he watched and waited till his billy boiled. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. Waltzing Matilda, waltzing Matilda. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. And he sang as he watched and waited till his billy boy old. You'll come a waltzing Matilda with me. We must have heard that. Yeah. Remember that one? That's a pretty good event. Oh, that's a
know where this house was so with big, a big. wooden roof. Mm. Down there is a restaurant, like really small, not the restaurant. <laughs> like Potato? Small. incredibly tidy people. They've all got gardens, their houses are neat and every time we passed they always came out and said would you want some schnapps? So we had schnapps here, we had schnapps there, we had schnapps everywhere and by the time we got to the ambush house we felt that we'd been ambushed as well because we were quite happy on the schnapps but we listened to the people and thing that we learned is that the Germans actually brought in an artillery piece and started lobbing artillery shells on them from three kilometres away then all hell broke loose at the ambush house so that was part of the story To the ambush site, yeah. Oh, there's the crow. Yeah. Okay. Ambush is shitty, huh? Yeah. Up that way, Wonderful day. It's a wonderful tour, and if anybody wants to come to this beautiful country, Slovenia, the people are great. The food's wonderful. The tour guides are great. Matei, Igor, Herman. They're just fantastic people. So we really recommend it. It's, I just can't say anything. Um, bad about it is absolutely five star excellent. So get in there and do the tour. Thank you. Voila, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, you'd all have to go off the shower together yeah. and scrub up, and he would have swept them yeah, off yeah, already. Exactly. He'd, he'd be off at the local pub already. Uh. After the races. After the races, like, after watch the horse racing. <laughs> This is the guy, this is the guy here. Same, the same guy from the start, she's there with the yeah, Yeah. Sure. 
gloves. I will make one photo for Spira also. Thank you. Water supply. And oh, this has been a wonderful holiday. What have I enjoyed about it? We are out in the Savlinian wilderness, a long way from the normal tourist paths. Um, we're hiking in beautiful countryside. A very interesting historical story. World War II story about some Aussies and Brits and others and the Partisans, which is nice. So we're following those trails basically, so it takes us way, way away from the average tourist paths in this country. So that gives us a unique experience, you know. We're staying in accommodation and we're meeting local people that uh, are super friendly to us, very hospitable, lots of snap stops. Uh, you can't seriously farm too much on this. You've got to have, you know, a thousand hectares of flat, industrialised corn. Yeah. But, but these slopes, for example, you'd normally need yeah. cattle or something to graze on them to keep the grass yeah. down. Yeah. So they just rotate the cows, the, the stock, maybe, like, maybe, bring maybe them into the paddock. Down a little bit to your left. 200,000 horses from Australia to Europe for the First World War, and only one came back. The weather is fantastic. The altitude is about a thousand meters, seven hundred meters altitude. We're walking, so it's cool. You're not sweating. Um, yeah, this this trip has just been fantastic. Good food, all in all, excellent food. Some places. Zadne delpoti. Yeah, good good comradeship. Three buddies with me and. Our three excellent guides, Herman and Igor. Yeah, it's been very good. And Mate, all excellent guides and very hospitable to us. Great food every day. Hot soup for lunch. Yeah, I guess that's probably about it. Highly recommended. Super. Bravo, bravo.